Hello everyone, welcome you all. This is Pawan. So in this video, I am going to discuss about uh, equivalence class partitioning technique in testing. So this is also called as equivalence partitioning or we can also call as equivalence class partitioning. So in equivalence class partitioning, uh, in this technique, inputs to the software or system are divided into groups. Inputs of the software are divided into multiple groups and that are expected to exhibit similar behavior. So they are likely to be proposed in the same way. Hence, uh, selecting one input from each group to design the test cases. So this equivalence class partitioning uh, helps to reduce the total number of test cases from uh, infinite to finite. So the selected test cases from these groups ensure coverage of all possible scenarios. So let us see a few examples to understand uh, this technique. Now, let's see this example one. So again here I have an age field so which accepts uh, 18 to 56 uh, age. This is not, uh, uh, here we are mainly focusing on uh, value. So here uh, uh, boundary value analysis always talk about the length, checking of length of the value. But here uh, equivalence class partition or ECP we call mainly focusing on the value. So we, these two we call as a length check and a value check. So boundary value analysis is focusing on the length and equivalence class partitioning is mostly focusing on the value. So here I am talking about the value which we are providing inside this particular field. So this field uh, is accepts the value which is uh, between 18 to 56. Now based on this we need to prepare some valid data and invalid data. That's the equivalence class partitioning. Now if I uh, see this uh, we need to prepare a valid and invalid. And here I say 70, uh, 18 and 56. What is the invalid and what is the valid criteria? So here if I say less than or equal to 17 age, below less than or equal to 17, all are invalid. So that comes under the invalid category. And uh, what is, uh, again, uh, what else we have invalid category? Suppose the maximum is 56. If I say more than 56 or let's say greater than or equal to 57 age, these are all in, uh, invalid data. So again, that is also comes under the invalid. But what is a valid here? Only 18 to 56 is a valid data for this particular uh, field. So valid input is 18 to 56. Invalid input is less than or equal to 17 and greater than or equal to uh, 57. These are all invalid inputs. Now the valid class is only 18 to, uh, 18 to 56. So pick any one of uh, input test data from 18 to 56. That will be the valid input. And uh, invalid classes means uh, if I say any, if I take any data, if I pick any data or any input below less than or is equal to 17, that comes under the invalid class. And uh, similarly, if I take any data which is greater than or equal to 57, that comes under the again invalid class. So equivalence class partition is always uh, talk about uh, valid and what are the invalid scenario. So we need to categorize the data and then we need to prepare the test data. Now let's see one more example. So in this example, I have a text field uh, which allows us to provide the a phone number and which should contain uh, 10 digits. Okay, only 10 digits phone number it should allow. Now if I do the equivalence class partition in techniques, here only 10 digits are valid input. What is the invalid in here? 9 digits will not allow, 11 digits will not allow. So valid and invalid. Let's say valid and invalid. Only 10 digits are valid, but 9 digits are not valid, 11 digits are not valid. Okay, so we can just categorize them into valid and invalid. Okay, so what is the valid class here? Enter only 10 digit mobile number, that will be valid. Okay, and rest of them are invalid. So we can just uh, make partitions like this and then we can prepare the test data. So that's all about uh, equivalence class partitioning techniques. So thanks for watching this video. So please subscribe my channel to get more updates on this. Thank you all.